And now it is time for another edition of Miss McGoon Reads. Whee! I'm back! Yay! All right, guys, welcome back to this edition of Miss McGoon Reads. Now, as you guys know, I like to read. It's just a common fact. And today's story that I'm reading is If You Give a Dog a Donut. I love these series, and I saw this book in my book basket, and I was like, oh, I have to read it. So now we're going to read If You Give a Dog a Donut. Here we go. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask for more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll want to play. You'll have to go get a ball and a glove. he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to get him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want it to fly. He'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher. Until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice, He'll want a donut to go with it. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this edition of Miss Muggern Reads. I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and just make sure to wash your hands. See you guys later.